Hello, my name is Dr. Clayton Simon. Welcome to the Marina Hills Animal Hospital Medical Moment. Today we're going to talk about urinalysis uh, and specifically when we find protein in the urine. Uh, it turns out that normal urine typically does not contain protein. Uh, there's a handful of different reasons why protein might be present uh, and depending on the situation there's different steps that we take. Uh, so in a boy dog, protein could be there in an intact male because it came from his reproductive parts. Um, protein could be in the urine because of a concurrent infection. Uh, so one of the first things we do if we see protein in the urine is look for signs of infection. Um, or protein could be leaking into the urine because of inflammation elsewhere in the body. It turns out that pets who have bad skin or other infections, inflammatory conditions, their kidneys aren't able to hold protein in and they leak protein for those reasons. Uh, so we look for those. Um, also, there are some endocrine disorders, some hormone imbalances, which can promote protein in the urine. If we look for all of those causes and we don't find them and we have a significant amount of protein, and by the way, we quantitate the amount of protein by measuring the protein relative to the amount of creatinine in the urine. It's called the urine protein to creatinine ratio. If that's a big number, um, then we often are concerned about a problem with the kidney itself. Uh, and the term for that is glomerular nephritis. Now, in order to diagnose glomerular nephritis with confidence requires a biopsy of the kidney, which is almost never done. It's quite rare that we would biopsy the kidney. The one time when we might consider a biopsy is if the protein to creatinine ratio is extremely high and if cancer is on our list of causes. Um, that is not common, but technically possible. And the way we discern that is based on the, how big the number is, but also imaging, uh, x-rays and or ultrasound of the kidney. Uh, but in the case of um, glomerular nephritis, we've ruled out the other causes for protein in the urine and the protein to creatinine ratio is in that range where we're concerned, then there is medication that we can put pets on to reduce the amount of protein loss. Uh, that is helpful both for the kidney uh, but it's also helpful because if you lose too much protein, then you have low oncotic pressure. Uh, oncotic pressure re refers to the tendency of water to have an incentive to stay inside the bloodstream. Uh, if your protein level gets too low and you have low oncotic pressure, then fluid leaves the blood vessels and forms edema, fluid outside the vessel. That's another reason why we're trying to prevent excessive protein loss through the kidneys. So that is a thumbnail sketch of what we do when there's protein in the urine. Uh, the short answer is we do lots of things uh, because there's many different causes. If you have questions for your pet, ask your local veterinarian. If you're local to Marina Hills Animal Hospital, we'd be glad to help care for your furry friends.